either way, I'm gonna get this done for you, for me, for the generations to come. Whether the governments are gonna like it or not, I'm gonna pay as much hours as I can into these kind of games, upload them, publish them, eventually timestamp them, yes, get less submitted, watch it, but who fucking cares? Because it will get me, you know, subs, it will get me followers, which I like and which I need. The more, the better, because the more I will eventually earn, the more I can reinvest into anyone, basically. And of course I will start with mates, you know, because of the fact that I know that if I'm gonna invest into them, they're gonna not gonna backstab me by doing the minimal work instead of the maximum work that, can, that they can do. So I'm first gonna reinvest into my mates who wants to be, you know, a YouTuber or a game developer or whatever you want, basically. As long as it requires YouTube in a sense. Hey. All mission essential personnel are to report to the helipad for deployment. If you encounter Morrison, bring him immediately to the commander. He and the senator are rapidly becoming more trouble than they're worth. Say Senator. Figures with Morrison involved. Wonder how high up this goes. So if you want to give me the opportunity, please subscribe to my channel, watch my content, and uh, I will promise you that I will make the jobs like there is no tomorrow. What kind of jobs? I will hire people to make intros, outros, I will hire people to make my timestamps, I will hire people to make their own fucking channels, and I will hire people to do whatever the fuck they want, as long as it's entertaining for certain people. And there is always a community for every single YouTuber out there, the only thing is, it requires sometimes a year, sometimes two, sometimes three, sometimes five years, maybe more in order to become efficient enough in order to get money out of it, which is a shame. And in those time, these people get 0.0.0% income because of the fact they need 1000 subs, 4k hours watch time and... Yeah, basically that, you know. And that's the starter point. And even if you have 1000 subs, 4k hours watch time, I don't think your payment will be, you know, 10,000, 20,000 a day, or a month, I mean. Um, it requires millions and millions of views, it requires millions and millions of subscribers, but in the end, you know, I am willing to make that happen for myself, as well as for others. Because I know I'm not the only one that wants to get this done. And there are many, and many other ways to, uh, you know, become a YouTuber. You could become a vlogger, you could become a cooking channel, you become uh, whatever the fuck you want, basically. But once again, only time will tell. So let's just focus and get this game done, go to the next, get that game done, go to the next, go to the next, until the moment has arrived that my channel has been gone off the ground. But uh, for those that uh, are going to be interested in Elix, this Christmas guys, this Christmas I'm gonna get Elix, I'm gonna record Elix on all three possible paths. Keep in mind, the first playthrough will be blindness. Will be blind playthrough because I don't know the game. But uh, I'm pretty sure it will boost my channel. It will boost my Gothic playthroughs. It will boost my Risen playthroughs, and it will most definitely boost my gen my channel in general. You know. And Elix is not cheap. You know, I'm not rich either, but I'm gonna get it. We lost six men to the creatures in the shadows. Dark. 
And if you want to see a game in any specific form, let me know in the comment section down below in any video, basically, of any game. And let me know what game you want, because I'm not here about getting 1 subscribers, I'm here to get 1,000, 2,000, 4,000, 8,000, the more the better. And if I can play a game specifically for you in order to get you into my subscription crew, if you will, then I'm willing to make that bet or do that, if you will, because of the fact it might get me more subscribers than yourself. It might get me more views than yourself, and it might get me channel off the ground a lot quicker. Leah, without with the your subject help, has more. crossed the perimeter. But that's not gonna be the game left. That's gonna be untouched. Every single game that I can get my hands on, and every single game that I can beat, I will beat, and I will beat them 100%. In Skyrim's case, that's 10 races, in Gothic's case, that's 3 runs, in Elix's case, that's 3 runs, and in Fear's case, that's 1 run. Plus the hardcore run, but that's an entire, you know, different option, basically. For a hardcore run requires a certain amount of light. Which is a chance to make a Even if it takes five years, and even if it takes for me to get a separate job along the side for my for the government to stop complaining, then so shall it be. Because there's nothing that's gonna stop me from keep doing this. Nothing. No governments. No paychecks. No nothing. Even if YouTube will eventually only make you 500 euros a month, I will gladly do it. Any over any other job in this fucking world. easy then I recommend that you're gonna try it yourself 12 to 16 hours every single day for the last two years and see how many content you will be able to poop out but shit out basically because it's not easy it's not stress free it's not you know it's really really fucking annoying to do this with no pay but what job is we're seeing replica you know? activity in the train yard Proceed with caution. While serious, the situation we are facing is not unique. Standard protocols still apply. Report. 
We've lost a man. Where's my backup? Even if it requires 5,000 games, different 5,000 different games, I'm gonna get it done. And there's not, uh, nothing gonna clock. stop me. Does anyone have a visual? The only thing that can stop me is if the uh, internet gets vanished. That's it. That's the only way I will be able, you know, when I will say, okay, I tried, I'm gonna give up. I'm not never gonna give up as long as the internet exists and as long as I am alive. Because, you know, this is my passion. I love to play games. I love to eventually, maybe, you know, for some game developers, make a bit, a bit of reviews and what have you. You know, and beat as many games as I possibly can because I enjoy doing that. And if you enjoy something, you're gonna do it with pleasure. And that's the that's the thing that I want to get done. You know, so a lot of people out there that have a job they go to every single day, eight hours a day, when it comes to Netherlands, that is, and they go to that particular job. The subject with, has crossed the perimeter. You know the lack of interest in that specific job then they will get easily bored with that specific job and they will only work because they have to work not because of that paycheck you know paycheck is a side Take effect Stop hiding my pussy. You know, the only problem that we have in this world is that everything from food to clothing, etc. is not free. If it was, then I can guarantee you that the majority of humanity will not work any job at all. Because of the fact that everything is free anyways. And those that do work would only do jobs that they specifically enjoy themselves, you know. In my case, gaming, YouTube in general, Twitch at some point as well, the more the better. You know, I, I, I don't like sitting on my ass doing nothing all day. But I don't kind count YouTube as doing nothing all day. YouTube is quite tough. It is, you know, you could see it as an easy job. You could see it as easy money, but it isn't because it takes one, two, or five, or even more sometimes in some cases. Years in order for you to get your first fucking paycheck out of it. Which is shame, you know, to put it bluntly. Have you, have you, do you guys know Game of Thrones, that uh, sh shame scene? That's exactly what I think about it. We're seeing replica activity in the train yard. Proceed with caution.
Check it out. We have a situation. Report. Shut the fuck up. Even if it's gonna take 20 years, as long as I'm motivated in order to keep this going and, you know, currently I'm about a year ahead of schedule, provided you take YouTube average, one video a day, as average. 7 o'clock. Which I do. Get to cover. Even though I upload three videos a day. Well, you know, at the 25th of October in 2019, I need about 1,095 videos. If you take that one video a day average, you know. I currently am a bit over two years now, and I'm already at 1,100, if not, you know, el about 1,100 something life at this moment that I'm recording this. And by the time that this is, this is uploaded, I will have around... 1300 videos public so I'm way ahead of schedule way ahead even though I upload once again three videos a day instead of one you know but uh, as soon as I make a living out of this I'm gonna, not gonna upload one video a day or two or three as I'm currently doing no if I'm gonna do this as a living I'm gonna wor upload worth eight hours of content every single day provided that my channel base is good enough you know because of the fact that the more content I will upload the more money I will make the more money I can reinvest into myself in my uh, friends in humanity as a whole and the more jobs we can create because the governments need to realize that they are missing out not thousands of euros or dollars or you know, rupees or whatever you're coming from, but millions, if not billions, of euros, billions of um, dollars every single year, which goes into YouTube's pocket, which is owned by Google, and you know, we all know that Google will benefit from small channels, they will benefit from big channels, but they will always benefit and the smaller channels are the ones that get nothing in return even though even though YouTube makes money out of their channels it's not much compared to PewDiePie and Boogie and you know Mr. Beast with millions and millions of subs of course they these guys earn a lot more but Google have to pay them out because of that they don't have to when it comes to the smaller channels which is why YouTube is as rich as they are today which is why Google is as rich as they are today because they all they do is sell our information to advertisers and make millions if not billions a year most of which they majority cut you know skip their taxes which is another another bullshit uh, thing Back up. You know, even in the Netherlands here today, like, you know, the big corporations like Shell or Unilever, you know, which are multinational corporations who have global influence, you know, do you know how many taxes they've dodged in the last five years or so? Well, five years, a bit exaggerated. 2015, they dodged, estimately, when it comes to Shell, which is a, you know, a uh, gas gasoline station-like company. They make billions a year, every single year, because of all the cars that need gasoline, you know. It's a gold mine. 
and they literally dodged in 2015 about a lot of taxes from 2015 to 2018 unpaid taxes no whatsoever and then uh, you know they're going these elitists go berserk that everything must become uh, more expensive and more expensive and more expensive you know the electric bills will go up in 2019 uh, the housing costs will go up, go up here in the Netherlands in 2019 the food supplies will go up the, uh, you know the water costs etc everything will go up more and more and more expensive but the big guys you know the big corporations they skip their fucking taxes the fucking irony Morrison half the fucking city just blew up what the hell are you doing I don't care who you are I'm pulling the plug on this one pack up and leave the city We live, we live in a world where everything is turned upside down. You know, the rich benefit from every single purchase. The poor are the ones that struggle with paying their bills, paying their taxes. But they still do it. You know, we still work our asses to the, to the bones in order to pay those ridiculous taxes. Sensors detect an intruder has entered the perimeter. Kill him. Oh no. These two fuckers again. because I don't want to redo the whole caboodle. Come on man, stop sneaking there. I'm wasting all my grenades. Yeah, we're dead to madness. Four of those fuckers. These guys don't like electric guns that much, eh? Sure, it takes a lot of bullets to kill them, but electric shots kill them relatively easy. Good to know. For my hardcore run, you know. But whatever it takes, guys. Whatever it takes. You gotta pursue your dreams, you gotta pursue your vision, and you gotta do whatever you have to do in order to make your life the way that you want it to be, you know. I don't, I'm not gonna force people to become YouTubers, 
just because I reinvest into YouTube channels. No, no, no. I'm gonna pick up the best of the best. You know, the people that are willing to work top hours for minimum paycheck, but paycheck nevertheless instead of no paycheck whatsoever. You know, it's a win-win, I suppose. Well, depends on how you look at it. You know, from my perspective, it's a win-win. If you know, either Mr. Beast or any other big YouTuber would invest into me and get my, you know, let's say invest in, into me a thousand bucks a month, then I could at least say to the government, hey, fuck you government, I'm making equally amount as the fact that you guys are giving me, and even though I do have to work 12 to 16 hours a day, you know, I, I gladly take that. I'd rather earn less for a job that I like to do than earn more for a job I dislike to do. But uh, I'm really in the mood again to roll a cigarette, so hopefully I'm nearly at the end of this particular episode slash uh, interval slash checkpoint, whatever. Hey, 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 listen. But well, it's a promise to you guys. You know, once I do become big enough and I earn more than I should, which is easily achievable, on a personal level, you know, it's pretty... Currently, I estimate, you know, I'm gonna roll a cigarette and talk a bit. Currently, I live on 70 euros um, a week. 70 euros. It's not that great, you know, but it's doable. Which means I, on a monthly basis, live on a income of 240 euros when it comes to purely food, drink, etc, you know. I'm not talking about my room that I'm currently using or the electricity that I'm consuming like a boss because I'm consuming electricity like a boss. But for 240 euros I can, you know, survive the month let me put it that way it's not gonna be a big month you know as in it's not gonna be um, easy to survive that month but it's possible so if I would buy YouTube and uh, let's say 5k a month you know which is way too much with 5k a month I can live uh, like a god slash king it depends on how you look at it But if I earn 5k a month, you know, from let's say 2020 to 2021, I've earned 5,000 a month, which is in total about, um, I must calculate it right, 1050s, 50k, 60k ish. 60k a month, uh, 60k a year, you know, it's not bad. But 5k already each month is a bit too much. Now, don't get me wrong, you can never have enough cash when it comes to buying a better PC or buying better, you know, uh, PC screens or a new, a new mouse or a new keyboard, you know. Those kind of things are optional things that I will purchase with the 5K that I make, you know. But only if they need to be replaced, upgraded or what have you. But it's doable to live of for 240 euros a month. It's not easy, and it's for me alone. You know, I don't have kids, I don't have a wife or whatever girlfriend of any way. But you know, for, for me personally, 240 is doable. It's not easy, but it's doable. Now the governments currently give me a paycheck each month for of about a thousand a month, which is. 13,000 a year due to the fact of holiday money. Now, I do not know if in the United States or in Russia or in any other countries they have holiday money, but here in the Netherlands we do. Which is basically, you know, every single month a certain amount of euros will cut, be cut it out of your monthly paycheck so that in summertime, when it's June or July, you know, you can you get, get a bit of an extra month income because of that, you know. So I currently earn 
13k a month via the government. But they do keep me, you know, pushing me and saying, hey, uh, sir, you gotta work. You gotta find a job, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. But the problem is, you know, I don't have a car, I don't have a bicycle, I don't have, you know, cash to go with a train or a bus or whatever you, and the company honestly don't give a fuck. So, in majority of jobs, you will pay more on traveling costs than you actually get covered for traveling, you know. So I will make a loss out of that. So I say, you know, fuck that, I'm not gonna do that. I want to do YouTube, even if it means working 12 to 16 hours every single day. Over a job of 8 hours a day, you know, but that's my personal preferences. Now, w do you guys notice that I work 12 to 16 hours a day? Not quite, you know. Don't get me wrong, but 3 videos a day uploading not making the timestamps yet because I'm way behind in the timestamps I'm slowly each day you know making new videos with the timestamps but f those first are uploaded they, f they are served first but I'm way behind you know but do you guys see that I work 12 to 16 hours a day no you know let's be honest you guys don't see that with three videos a day and I understand that, but I do work 12 to 16 hours a day because of the fact that, you know, each of my videos is estimately about 45 to an hour. It depends on moments like this where I talk a bit too much. I'm just smoking a cigarette and meanwhile, you know, before I go berserk mode again. In a matter of speaking, you know, sometimes I rage even if I have a cigarette or whatever you... But that comes along with the package, you know. But it's doable, you know. I enjoy doing this, even though it's currently quite frustrating and it's uh, putting me on edge because currently I'm risking. I've risked already two years of non stop YouTubing, which I could have used those two years in order to get a real job and earn 1500 a month instead of 1000 a month. But I don't want that, you know, I want to do this. And if that means 500 a month, then so shall it be. If it means 200 a month, uh, so shall it be, you know. Income is income, guys. Over here. Gotta get out of here. Yeah, 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 I was just smoking a cigarette, sir. Get fucking damn it, that Morrison. Give him a radio. So, tell me, asshole, was it worth it? You've got to get me out of here. Then why the fuck should we do that? You... you've got to let me out. They're going to kill me. That's your problem. Right now, the Nightcrawlers are trying to get their hands on her DNA. Whose DNA? Her name was Alma. She was the primary donor for both Origin and Perseus. The Nightcrawlers were supposed to hand it over to me. You better not be making this shit up. There's a shortcut. It's a supply tunnel. I know where it is. We can get there before they find her. All right, Sergeant, let him out. All right. I don't disagree. I don't agree with that, but uh, get your mo ash moving. We have to hurry if we're going to stop them. Go, move. If Mr. Morrison tries to escape, shoot him. Oh, gladly. Put a bullet right in his neck, head, wherever my target hits, you know. But sadly, I cannot kill him because he's not gonna. The run tunnels away. this way. It's right around here, in one of these buildings. In one of uh, these buildings. You go search that building. I'm gonna search for reflex boosters and HP boosters because I'm trying to get this done 100%. Because that's what my channel is about, you know, 100%. Here. Yeah, yeah, I'm on my way. Now, normally these videos are without commentary. Sometimes I talk in between, like in Skyrim or whatever, you, you know. But... 
I just, just wanted to get my mes message heard, if you will. And not, not a lot of people will buy it, you know, don't get me wrong. I, I'm pretty sure the 90% of my viewers will say, he's just saying, you know, he's just, he's, he's just saying to get views, to get subscribers, and what have you. But only time will tell whether I'm serious or not. It's just through here. I can say that I'm serious. Doesn't mean that I am serious. That's for you guys, you know. I'm serious, and I honestly say that with truth. You know, I do mean to invest in the smaller channels. You made it. I was beginning to wonder. But I, I, I buy it. You know, I get it. If you guys don't, you know, if you guys think that he's just talking, 